entering the channel into Prebiza. A lot of boat traffic here. Theo ahead of us. We got a couple catamarans coming out. We're excited to see something new. It's a little flatter land here, um, but a still picturesque. There's a big bay inside here. We're going to try to check out today for anchoring. So back over here is Levkata and the canal entrance to um, down to Meganesia is down over there. We came from way over there. Well, about 20, 25, 30 miles away. Hi, I'm Karen and my husband is Tom. Welcome to Life 4.0, where we share our experiences of living aboard Sea Rose, our 44-foot sailboat, while we travel together to new and exciting destinations. We hope you enjoy our Life 4.0 as you think about shaping your own. There is only one go at this thing called life. Make the most of it. We had a lot of thunderstorms and heavy rain today. Uh, we moved from our anchorage on Antipaxos because the swell was coming into the anchorage out of the east and it was a little bit different direction than forecasted so we had to pick up our anchor and move. And we decided just to sort of go towards the coast and eventually over here to Preveza. Pre Preveza but um, in the process we got into a lot of heavy thunder and lightning, uh, rain, wind. Wind peaked at about 40 knots. But big bursts at about 25 to 30 knots regularly and uh, so it was a bit exciting thunder and lightning hitting us all around uh, not hitting us but striking the water around nearby so we're glad that's behind us we do have some more unsettled weather coming in the next couple of days um, hopefully it won't be quite as bad as what we had today though so we're definitely excited to see something new and check it out the town of Preveza is supposed to be quite nice um, there is the airport over here that Pedro flew in on and he's flying back out in a couple days. And there's a tunnel that comes underneath the entrance of the channel here, a tunnel that comes over uh, to the town of Preveza. We're entering into Preveza, just finished coming through the channel markers down there. Pretty narrow on the out, or pretty shallow on the outside of the channel, so we stuck to the channel there. But the channel is wide enough to get big ships in, like this uh, break bulk ship over here. It came in before us. There's another ship behind it. So this is uh, the first of three marinas, or first of three boat yards here. Cleopatra is the largest. And then there's, uh, I think it's called Preveza Yacht Center, and then Actio, where we're going to be staying this winter. Big, huge yard. You can see masts in the distance there, beyond that fortification. Cleopatra, I mean, th they all hold like 500 to 600 boats or more, so you're talking about probably close to 2,000 boats in this one area. It's just crazy to me to think that they have that many boats in one spot. It's by far, far and away the largest marina area that we've seen in, in Greece. But uh, it's good, it's, it's very accessible to the Ionian Islands. Down over there, and uh, where we came from, from Paxos, Antipaxos. So it's good for access to that. And um, it's good as a boat owner because that means that there's uh, a lot of um, vendors and mechanics and all that, they can do a lot of variety of works. There's so many boats, boat density here, then there's a lot of good people that uh, work on boats, so that's gonna help us as well. We are going kind of around the corner beyond here to another bay called Benitza, which is uh, good protection from a lot of different directions. It's gonna help us while we're kind of still putting up with this unsettled weather. And then when that's, that uh, unsettled weather settles, we will probably head over to Preveza over there. Getting down to the last couple days of our summer 2020. It's been an awesome summer, even though it was a shorter summer because of COVID, but we've had put a lot of it to good use and I've seen an incredible amount of grease and really, really enjoyed it. So very, very thankful for this opportunity and we can't wait to come back in the springtime. Entering the sort of wide open part of the inner bay of Preveza. And we're going to 
go down there a couple more miles straight ahead and find Vanitza for the night. This is Vanitza. We've been going since pretty early this morning, trying to dodge some thunder showers, which are continuing to follow us. Behind us, you can see a pretty dark sky. So, we may get a little bit more rain today, but we are anxious to get to Benita and drop our anchor and maybe have a little reading hour. <laughs> that is now our, our code name for taking a nap. Coming into Benita and they have this little spit of land that comes out with the help of a bridge. And the town of Vanitza behind. So we weren't the first people with this idea to anchor here, but this looks like a great spot. Lots of room. It's supposed to be soft, muddy kind of bottom for good holding. And apparently they light up the bridge at night, green lights. So quite a cool spot. You wouldn't think you were in Greece. I think you were somewhere in some lake somewhere, but. This is awesome. On the walk into town, there were a couple tiny but heavily used fishing harbors with simple, low stone walls. Once through the town center, we climbed up to the impressive fortress overlooking Vanitza. This structure is known as Vanitza Castle, and it was built around 1070, making it nearly a thousand years old. The large, well-preserved, restored, and maintained fortification occupied the entire hilltop and offered views of the surrounding village, farmlands, athletic fields, lagoons, and waterfront harbor that connects this town to the gulf it sits beside. Hey, Mr. Blackbird. Perfectly shaped olive tree. Here is a bird's eye view of where Sea Rose is anchored. The bridged causeway leads to a small nature reserve with walking trails. Back in the village for our evening meal, it was becoming apparent that this was a town of Greek locals, and we all loved the vibe we felt here. People were busy going about their day, and shops aplenty serviced the many needs of this vibrant community. The next day, we anchored off the spit of land and dinghied over to the nearby islands. All right, so there's a whole bunch of <laughs> hermit crabs in here. The guy's over here. The oh! I thought I had a little crab next to my foot, which probably would not have been a bad thing. <laughs> so I overreacted just a bit. <laughs> Nobody noticed. <knows. laughs> so we dropped a pasta shell in here and there's all these little crabs that are coming around it, but not to it. Everybody's curious. Everybody wants somebody else to go first. Ah, the white one keeps getting closer. Yeah, I think he's gonna go for it. That's where I'm putting my money. Ah, backed off. Heard something. Okay, yeah, there's one getting close on the right. At two, yeah, at two, okay. at two o'clock, there's one that's really close. 
Come on, you can do it. Mm hmm Oh, he's underneath it. Yeah, he's still underneath it. <laughs> he's away. He claimed it. It's like, I don't know what this is for, but uh, I'm going to use it as an awning. <laughs> an awning. <laughs> back. The more we watched, the more hermit crabs we saw. The water was absolutely alive. All right, come, this one, come on, guy, you have been, you can do it. Come on, oop, oh, up, oh. up. Latch him on. I don't think that's good. Oh, he's moving. Oh, he's he's moving. dragging it. He's moving. <laughs> he's huge <he's> coming in. <clears throat> it's like, this is big. Right, this is my new home. <laughs> Where's the entrance? Careful. Where's the door? I've got food for a week. <laughs> Okay, so clearly we're bored. <laughs> <laughs> but this is fun. It is fun. I agree. I agree. It is fascinating to me. I mean, oh, look. Is the whole, there's so much life here. It's just... We just had a tackle over here. Two little ones. One knocked the other one over. Wow. All the rocks are walking. So we came to this little windswept island at Picnic. It's been a little bit uh, stormy the last few days and we have pretty significant storm clouds around. We don't know if they're really going to materialize into anything. And our boats are way over there. Just a big cloud. <laughs> right, it's just a hammerhead thing. Look at the size difference between the boats and the cloud. The next morning, we walked the paths along the spits of land. Pedro would be leaving us the next morning, so we went into Cleopatra Marina so he could easily get to the nearby airport. Okay, it's the middle of the night. It's about five o'clock in the morning. We have non-stop lightning around us. This is how it's showing up through the hatches. Oh, here's the window. We're on a dock um, at Prevoza, at Cleopatra Marina, and uh, so we have a ton of other boats around us. So basically we're looking at the odds of having it strike us versus somebody else. Starting to feel the winds a little bit. Okay, so looking at our wind, um, it's right now it's just 25 knots. Um, it's, it's 
minute ago it was 36 and it hit 50. So we're on the dock. Um, the wind is hitting us from the back, so we actually have a towel. Turn a little light on. So we actually have a towel up here trying to stop the uh, rain from coming through the very small vent. Um, so far we're holding on good. Um, I don't know. I hope everybody else is as well. Uh, the lightning isn't as crazy as it was, but we definitely have. Um, we have. Oh, there's some lightning in the distance. Definitely have lots of wind. Starting to get quite a bit of rain. So about 5:30 in the morning, I think. Yeah, quarter till six. Boat's rocking a little bit from the wind. Looks like our the boat next to us is holding okay. We've been watching him. He doesn't seem to be moving or straining very much. So, um, yeah, we're just trying to hang out here and make sure things are okay. Trying to not grab our mast as we walk past it. So this is, you know, it's a deck step mast, but this is a support that goes down through um, the hull. So try not to grab things like stays and other stuff. I've got our passports and other stuff in my black backpack on the bed. Okay. okay. Let's take our computers and our drives and everything like that and put them into our oven so it serves as a Faraday cage protected against lightning and um, we grabbed our passports in case something happens and we need to get off the boat um, so lots of fun we always just sort of go through this so we're prepared so we're in Cleopatra Marina in uh, near Previza in Greece and uh, it's been windy all day but it stopped raining thank goodness uh, it was Pretty stormy this morning, lots of rain, lots of thunder and lightning. So yeah, today is project day. We're going through the boat, packing things up. We haul out on Monday, so uh, it's been quite a busy day. I'm trying to get through our first set of projects um, and get ready to pack up. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to get notified of new videos. We soon haul Sea Rose out of the water for her land-based winter's rest. Then we drive to Athens for our flight home. Our route to Athens took us on a bridge spanning the Corinth Canal, so of course we had to stop, having passed through the canal the previous summer. Look at that. Wow. It's so far down there. Gripping my phone like a death grip. Yeah. All right, this is looking west in the Corinth Canal. We see a ship coming through. This video draws our COVID impacted 2020 sailing season to a close. And yes, we know we're way behind. Sorry. So we're going to jump right into making videos of our 2021 sailing adventures. In the meantime, Smooth sailing to all of you.